Good afternoon, everyone. I do believe na nag rise up na ulit tayo sa a new level of dimension. Agree? Siyempre, hindi ko marinib kasi nakamute kayo. <laughs> Agree. Sino pa, by the way, ang wala? Ati Saira, Joanne? Kuya. Um, Kuya Shem and Kayla. Reyes. Yeah. Kuya Joshua. Sila Kayla pala. I'm here present, ha? Huh? Ati Saira pala. Nandito, no? I-admit lang. <laughs> I am here present. Ah, yes! <laughs> Mrs. Otero is ever present. <laughs> my teacher is not here. <laughs> Tita Ching, good to hear your voice <laughs> and to see your face. <laughs> So, ang ating itatalakayin ngayon sa ating session is about the mind of Christ. Kasi di ba nung nagkaroon tayo ng series ng uh, thinking pattern, how to break through, uh, what is, nakala, nakalimutan ko na yung title natin, but it is all about the mind. We always mention to operate in the mind of Christ. But today, we're going to discuss paano nga ba ako makakapag-operate sa mind of Christ? Ano ba ang criteria? Paano ko ba malaman? O anong criteria na, na meron dapat ako para masabi ko that I'm really operating in the mind of Christ or through the mind of Christ? <clears throat> Kasi alam, alam nyo mga select arrow, what our team are always... Object, our objective is always for you and for me to be strengthened because we are going to, we are building actually your future here and now. Right? No, I think. Yeah, it's, a, it's about the mind, parang breakthrough thinking pattern. Yun yung. Anyway, uh, yung mga past lesson pa natin yun. Joseph is asking me kung anong title nun. So, ang pinaka-objective natin lagi sa Select Arrow because we are building your future here and now. Clearly, okay. Na ang bawat isa sa inyo ay hindi magdepende sa system because the system will collapse. Whether we like it or not, the system is going to collapse. When the kingdom manifests, the system will collapse because the, the kingdom that is unshakable, that, which is the kingdom of the Lord, is the one that is going to prevail. Kailangan bahagi ikaw at ako ng kingdom na ito. Kaya aayusin natin ang ating pang pamumuhay. Our operational dynamic must be set on the spirit so that we can be a part of this unshakable kingdom. Uh, this uh, kingdom that will... <laughs> the, the kingdom of the Lord. So, ano, ano, ang, um, ako naman ay naniniwala na maliwanag na pala, sa, maliwanag na sa inyo ang mandate natin, di ba? That our kingdom mandate. Every domain, every generation, every nation in our lifetime. So, paano ang domain to influence the domain, to inspire a generation, and to impact, impact a nation? Kaya kailangan lumabas kayo sa system. Pag nasa loob ka ng sistema, hindi ka magiging solusyon ng sistema kasi isa, rin, isa ka rin na nalamon ng sistema. Pero kung sa labas ka ng sistema, magpa-equip tayo, magpa-prepare tayo sa, by the Word and by the Holy Spirit of God. And then there will be a time that God is going to strategically position you to, to the domain where he was been orchestrated for you to be positioned and then and that that is the time that you are going to be able to infuse life and strength to the to the system solution ka na hindi ka na dagdag sa problema ibig sabihin hindi ka na contributor ng problema sa system but you are a solution to the 
system. You are a solution giver to the system. You are infusing life already to the system. You are infusing strength already and healing to the system. Why? You carry Christ. You carry the kingdom. You carry Christ's attitude and, and you are operating in the mind of Christ. I hope maliwanag itong dynamic operation, uh, operational dynamic natin. That God is now equipping you right now by the word, by the Holy Spirit. And I'm just a facilitator of it, of that equipping of the Lord, of that working of the Lord, of that move of God into your life and, and through your life. And then by the time that it, it you are already, it is already a God-ordained time that you, when you are strategic already, pag nabuild ka na, pag nabuild ka na by the Word and by the Spirit, hindi pwedeng hindi ka ipoposition ni Lord sa tamang posisyon. Well, hindi wala namang pinanda si Lord na isinantabi niya. Pag may pag prinoseso ng Panginoon, pag prinoseso ng Holy Spirit at ng kanyang salita, may may paglalagyan siya. May may pag may hinahanda siyang paglalagyan sa iyo kung saan ka magiging solution, kung saan ka magiging life giver, kung saan ka magiging agent of change, kung saan ka magiging expansion or extension of His kingdom. Doon ka ilalagay at itatalaga ni Lord. Kaya ngayon, tiis-tiis lang muna. Ang process ni Lord ay napakabilis lang. May acceleration ngayon. Tiis-tiis lang muna habang binumold tayo, pinaprocess, piniframe, pinafashion tayo, pinuform ng kanyang salita at ng kanyang Holy Spirit. That is a process. And when, that, when we are already uh, binikwipped, and uh, form by the word, by the spirit, hindi pwedeng hindi ka ilalagay ni Lord sa strategic domain na kung saan ka talaga niya inihanda. I hope this is clear to you. Kaya ang process ngayon, i-enjoy nyo ang process. Paano ma-enjoy ang process? Get an understanding from the Holy Spirit every moment, every day of your life that when situations is in front of you or around you, it is just a process. Just thus you need to be in a good voice or good posture always. Na hindi ka destabilizado ng mga sitwasyon mo sa paligid. Uh, klarado ba ako sa inyo nito? Kasi uh, in our lifetime, in, sa inyo hindi na yun matagal. In our lifetime, pag sinabing every domain, every generation, every nation in our lifetime, Hindi na yun matagal sa atin ngayon. Lalo na sa inyo may acceleration after ng final outpouring of the Holy Spirit. May acceleration gagawin na ang Diyos for you to be strategically form and shape already by the Spirit and by the Word. Kaya ilalagay ka ni Lord. Hindi po pwedeng hindi ka ilagay ni Lord sa strategic position. Aklarado ba ako? So to be strategically fashioned by the Spirit, kailangan itama ang posture. Kailangan itama ang position sa Spirito. Hindi nagpapa-destabilize uh, ng mga petty things, ng mga simpleng bagay, gagawin mong big things. Hindi na yun pwede ngayon. I hope I am clear with this to you. Na you are the generation that is going to become glorious in ferocious in the days to come and that day is no longer long how uh, ako ay naniniwala in my prayers naniniwala ako na ang iba sa inyo na naka-enter dun sa pathways of the spirit which i already shared to you for our in in our past lesson na uh, enter into that pathways of the spirit and see your future ahead. Kasi kung explain ako ng explain ng future nyo, tapos di nyo man na-capture ng spirit, eh mas maiging uh, kayo, uh, nililid tayo ng Holy Spirit, allow the Holy Spirit to lead you into that pathways and see your future there. So that you can accurately interface with the Holy Spirit's move on the ground. Kung ano ang pinagagawa niya sa'yo, exactly the same accurately you respond to His voice, responds to His prompting, to His dealing, to His uh, impression. Yun ang laging dapat uh, tatandaan natin kasi yung God consciousness na tinuro natin nung nakaraan. Okay? So, paano ba malalaman natin na we are operating in the mind of Christ? Ito ay 
<coughs> pag-uusapan natin ngayon, the mind of Christ. Of course, ang ating mga tinuturo, nag, uh, kinoconsolidate ko ang mga lesson na uh, by the grace of God na build sa akin through uh, Dr. Jonathan David, Papa Jonathan, and yung mga lesson pa noon ni Papa Lo, and Mama La, Pastor Rarena Joyce, and Pastor Abraham Kalonsag, yung mga binild nila sa life namin that I, by the grace of God, outwork it. Kumbaga, nilakaran ko sa biyaya ng Panginoon. Ito yung kinoconsolidate ko ng mga lesson na yun, yun din ang ini-impart ko sa inyo because I couldn't, I couldn't impart which I do not have. I couldn't give you something that I don't have. In other words, hindi ko kaya magbigay sa inyo ng hindi ko naman nilakaran. Only those that uh, by His grace, I was able to outwork it at naging lifestyle, kaya life na nai-impart. Because kung walang life, walang power na darating sa spirit nyo. It is only those the words that was been outwork at nalakaran at nabibigay sa inyo yung understanding, the insight of it, and it, uh, it was been captured also by your spirit at nag-resonate sa spirit nyo na yun din ang mayroong kapangyarihan na malakaran. Kasi we cannot give what we don't have. Kaya magpapuno tayo lagi sa Holy Spirit, filled with His passion, filled with His <clears throat> grace. Yun ang, ang sikreto natin. Okay? So, our topic is about the mind of Christ. Let's open our Bible to 2 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 2.16. Magtatawag ako mamaya nang mag-share pag maaga tayong matapos. I want you to share what the Lord is now uh, putting into your heart. At may announcement tayo mamaya. Saan nga ano nga bang sinabi ko? First Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter 2:16. Sige, na natin sa 16. For who can know the Lord's thoughts? Who knows enough to teach Him? But we understand these things for we have the mind of Christ. Klarado? Sa, sa NIV, NLT yung binasa ko. Sa NIV version nakalagay doon Who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him but we have the mind of Christ Do you believe this You have the mind of Christ I have the mind of Christ and therefore we need to operate in that operational dynamic the mind of Christ Kasi nung nandito pa ang Panginoon He is 100% man but 100% God. There is a man factor and a human factor and a God factor. Siya ang pattern natin, isn't it? Siya ang uh, modelo natin, role model. If Jesus Christ, while He was on earth thousand years ago, nakapag-operate siya, sa ground, sa earth, ng ganitong klaseng operational dynamic, the God factor, and then the human factor, how much more the church. Isn't it wonderful when you and me operate in this kind of dynamic that when we decree such word, the word that we prophesy, that we decree, that we declare will surely come to pass because we are operating in the dimension of the spirit, which is the God factor. And the human factor is this, that the body or the soul, eh, yun lamang ang kahakis ng God factor, si Sidlan. Pero ang operational dynamic, it must be of what is divine. Nakikita nyo ba ang kapangyarihan nyo, select arrow? Do not underestimate what you carry. I am always telling you, This, do not underestimate what you carry. Kaya nga, 
dudublihin natin ang pag-iingat na yung carry ng bawat isa hindi makontamina. Kasi what you carry is the material that the domains needed in the days to come. What you carry is the solution material for the system to be healed. What you carry, what you have in your life, in your spirit man, is the material, the unshakable material, the eternal material, heavenly material, the superior material that the earth needs and the world needs in the days to come. For this groaning of the spirit of the creation, na maridim sila, sa pumamagitan ng mga carry natin. And that is the Christ dimension. I hope this is clear to everyone. So, basahin na natin lahat-lahat ang text bago tayo magpatuloy. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interest, but take an interest in others too. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Clear, very clear. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. Therefore, God elevated him to the place of highest honor and gave him the name above all other names, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue declare that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen and amen. So that is Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 to 11. Yes. Okay, basahin natin ang Philippians chapter 3, 14. Mag-umpisa tayo sa 13. No, dear brothers and sisters, or dear select arrows, I have not achieved it. Si Paul ang nagsasalita. But I focus on this one thing. Forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. That is the future. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. Let all who are spiritually mature agree on these things. If you disagree on some point, I believe God will make it plain to you. But we must hold on to the progress we have already made. Dear Select Arrow, pattern your lives after mine and learn from those who follow our example. For I have told you often, often before, and I say it again with tears in my eyes, that there are many those conduct shows they are really enemies of the cross of Christ. They are headed for destruction. Their God is their appetite. They brag about themselves, about shameful things, and they think only about this life here on earth but we are citizens of heaven where the Lord Jesus Christ lives and we are eagerly waiting for him to return as our savior he will take our weak mortal bodies and change them into glorious bodies like his own using the same power with which he will bring everything under his control alleluia amen and amen receive this word of the Lord unto your spirit so we are a citizen in heaven. So, tagalangit tayo. Okay? Tagalangit tayo na naninirahan sa lupa. Kung tagalangit tayo, ang kultura natin makalangit, ang pag-uugali natin makalangit, ang kaisipan natin makalangit, 
Paano tayo makipag-relate ay makalangit. Ito ang ating ibibuild sa ating mga sarili para ang mga nakakikita dito sa atin sa, sa earth ay makita nila ang langit sa buhay natin. Di ba laging pinag-aralan pinag na natin di pa nag-lockdown to live in heaven while on earth? Ikaw ay foreigner lamang dito sa earth. Ako ay foreigner lamang dito sa earth kasi mga tagalangit tayo. Kung tagalangit tayo, magbebehave tayo ng mga tagalangit. Ang mga tagalangit hindi nagko-cross ng boundary. Ang mga tagalangit hindi nagdi-dishonor. Ang mga tagalangit hindi hindi nagbe-break ng ng mga boundaries na binigay ng ibig sabihin crossing boundaries yung mga may Expressing freedom within boundaries ba tayo? So, protocol ang sinasabi ko. Ang mga tagalangit hindi nagdi-disobey ng mga protocols ng kaharian. So, pag tagalangit ka, istingin pa lang sa'yo, pakinig pa lang sa'yo ng mga tagalupa. Kailangan alam nila agad na ikaw ay tagalangit. Di ba pag sa Saudi Arabia tayo, ang mga foreigner, alam, alam mo agad pag Egyptian siya. Alam mo agad pag Canadian siya. Lalo na alam na alam mo pag French siya kasi nag uh, speaking in French. Alam na alam sa Saudi kung sino ang Pilipino at mga Asians. Tama? So bakit hindi natin 'yan i-practice? Na pag may nakakita sa iyo, alam agad na tagalangit ka, ramdam agad na tagalangit ka, napakinggan agad na tagalangit ka because you carry a different dimension in your spirit. You have such uh, a new frequency that you are uh, sending to the people around you. You iba ba iba yung dating. Not bragging but something in you that the people is are being drawn something inside of you na hindi man nila ma-explain ikaw rin most of the time di mo rin ma-explain but people around you are being drawn why it's the heaven's dimension that you carry that these people are being drawn or uh, parang something na nadodrown sila nakukuha So, yun, yun tayo dapat na dynamic mag-operate. Okay? So, the mind of Christ. <clears throat> Let us all develop our mind to break limitations but not crossing boundaries or protocols. We need to live according to the mind of Christ. Okay? Number one, what is the mind of Christ? Number one, it's an attitude of humility. Yung mga binasa nating verse, nakita natin doon yung pattern ni Christ. Paano siya? It's a pattern of humility, yung meekness niya. <clears throat> Consider other always than himself. It's an attitude of humility that regards those above, those below, and those around. It's an attitude of humility that regards those above, those below, and those around. It's an attitude that everyone is important or an attitude of valuing, valuing people, honoring people. It's not an attitude that pleasing people, but it's an attitude of valuing people or honoring people. Iba yung pleasing, okay? We are not men pleaser. We just we are the one who learn. We are one who learns how to honor, how to value people. So this is. Uh, The attitude of Christ. This is how God operates in His mind. He value people. He honor people. We 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 cannot serve. We cannot serve genuinely or accurately if we don't have this kind of attitude. Si Christ kasi minudelo ng panginoon sa atin a servant heart, a servant think thought pattern. Servanthood ang tawag doon. Ang mga wala nitong dimension, they cannot serve genuinely or accurately. Pleasing lang ang sa kanila, pleasing people but not actually, actually valuing and honoring people. E after ng Cairo season na ito, naturo ko nga kahapon sa Bible study, na after ng Cairo season na ito, halata na ang hindi 
genuine ang connection sa Panginoon. Halata na ang fake. Halata ang counterfeit. Ma-obvious nyo ang counterfeit. Ma-obvious nyo yung nag-onor-onoran lang at saka yung nagkukonekta-konektahan lang. At saka ma-obvious nyo, ma-obvious nyo yung nagbabalyo-balyohan lang ng relationship. It's not talaga covenanted. So, it's very dangerous and critical na kailangan mag-migrate tayo at i-fix natin ito, sort out everything in our lives to become uh, strategic in, in God's kingdom. So, an attitude of humility that regards those above, those below, and those around. It is an attitude that everyone is important, valuing, honoring people around, above, around, and below. So, because we cannot serve if we don't have this kind of attitude. <coughs> Clear? Number two, the attitude of Christ, uh, the mind of Christ, okay, the mind or the attitude of Christ, it uh, knows its place and its purpose. Knows its place and its purpose and its assignment. Knows its place and its purpose and its assignment. And he is focused on that. Totally focused on purpose. Totally focused on assignment. And totally focused on mandate. So fix. Like a flint. Focus na focus, hindi siya na destabilize hindi siya na divert hindi siya minsan na distract. He is totally focused on purpose, focused on his assignment and on his mind or mandate. So fix. So sure, he is so sure where he will go. So kung nagoperate tayo sa mind of Christ. If we are operating in this dynamic, kailangan fix na fix tayo. Sa fo focus na focus tayo sa mandato natin. Ano ang mandate natin? Kingdom mandate. What is that kingdom na mandate? Every domain, influence a domain, in inspire a generation, and impact, uh, inspire a generation that would impact nation in our lifetime. May kota tayo doon. Kasi that kingdom mandate is a mandate of the church, but we are the part of the church, the called out ones, the body of Christ, and every one of us has quota. For example, for me, ang quota ko for this kingdom mandate is our family domain, the spiritual domain, the church, kami ni Pastor Jerry, and our quota ko for the next generation is the select arrow. Nakukuha. So pagdating ng araw na kayo na ang next runner, kayo na. May kota kayo na tatapusin. You need to focus on that. It's, the number is irrelevant. The number is irrelevant. The quantity is irrelevant. Always the quality. Always Christ. The dimension of Christ. Hindi ako, ako I'm not insecure kung ilan lang ang nag-attend ng select arrow at ang iba nag na, na, na nag select arrow ay thousand sa sa akin sa akin ang pinagkatiwala ay kayo because that's only i know that you are only my quota to this kingdom mandate inspire a generation build a generation so pag quota niyo na rin you need to be focused on this ang quota niyo anong domain halimbawa education domain or science and technology domain may quota kayo doon kaya nga god is training you to become builder in the spirit kaya ini stop in, in kinat muna natin yung series natin na building in the spirit kasi kailangan to na na mind of christ para dito na tayo makapag-operate so the mind of christ knows its val is its place and its purpose and its assignment and he is focused on that totally focused on purpose totally focused on assignment totally focused on mandate he is so fixed sure he is so sure where where he will go so as we we must he uh, we must never be distracted or deviated we must be set on course 
para ma, ma, ma express natin that we are really indeed operating in the mind of Christ. Okay, number three, the mind of Christ knows boundaries of what he possesses in God and what he must do as man. The mind of Christ knows boundaries of what he possess in God and what he, ma he must do as man. My God's dimension, the human part, and the God factor. Alam niya, alam niya ang boundary niya, alam niya uh, kung ano ang carry niya. Alam niya, my, my, he has all the understanding and the knowledge about what he carry and uh, where he should operate as human or as and as god ano ang boundary niya na hindi siya makakross ng boundary makakross ng protocol so we may have power authority but we have boundaries jesus christ when he was on earth when he he is operating as he is operating as 100% god and 100% man pero he did not he is not crossing boundaries he know Kung hanggang saan lang siya. That is the way he operate. So, alam niya may kapangyarihan siya na carry, alam niya yung authority niya, but he knows, he, he learned how to stay within boundaries, protocol. I hope I'm clear with you with this. Okay, number, number three na yun, ano? Number four, the mind of Christ is a pattern of life that you mod that he model before people the mind of christ is a pattern of life that he model before people the mind of christ is a pattern of life that he model before people so i not we need to be a pattern of God. Pag nag-operate tayo sa mind of Christ, we need to be a pattern of God that need to be modeled on people, especially to you, to the generation below, and to your generation. Ilang generation nyo ngayon ang groaning and traveling. Ilang generation nyo ngayon ang nag ang nag nag groan ang kanilang spirit, lalo na ang mga nasa sistema. Uh, kaya nga pag nag uh, hindi nyo ba nararamdaman when you pray for a generation you almost you can almost feel the groaning of their spirit yung mga yung mga nasa sistema kaya bilisan natin ang pag uh, cooperate kay Lord mag paste tayo sa Holy Spirit na ma-form ma-build agad niya tayo para maging solution tayo sa system na sa sa every domain na maka-infuse tayo ng life sa kanila kasi in generation at least magkaroon ka man lang ng ang bawat isa sa atin magkaroon lang ng kota na sampo na maipanalangin mo that sampo will will uh, exponentially become, be multiplied again by the Holy Spirit to become a pattern and a role model a one that would that could infuse life to a, to another generation isn't it wonderful ganyan pag kumilos si Lord ganyan ang ang dynamic ni Lord so kailangan hindi na tayo magpa maging casual ngayon feel feel the urgency in your spirit of what the Holy Spirit wants to accomplish on the ground this building project of God through the power of the Holy Spirit and by His Word which is the kingdom of the Lord so magpa-undergo na tayo ng building process so that this building project of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is the builder of, of God's church the, the church kingdom that is about to birth it, Zion the Zion is the, the kingdom of the Lord so ito yung ating uh, tatanggapin ngayon. Feel the urgency of the spirit that he is building you kung para para kang gustong ipanganak ng Panginoon na pa, um, ipanganak tayo na para maging mature na agad para ikaw ay maging solution giver na sa society. Think about such thing. 
Ang tingnan na natin yung future na ikaw ay solution giver, agent of change, expansion of God's kingdom, example of the Lord, a model and a pattern of the kingdom of the Lord, expression of heaven. Isn't it what uh, the uh, privilege that we have na binibigay sa ating spirit ni Lord? Kaya kailangan mag-face tayo, mag-interface tayo sa Holy Spirit. So the, the mind of Christ is a pattern of life that he modeled before people able to preach talk to the people with the word and truth the, the uh, si lord jesus christ kung makita mo matthew mark luke john diyan sa gospel uh, sa gospel for gospel na yan makita niyo doon pag pinag-aralan niyo ang life niya if he is not praying he is building in the spirit if he is not building in the spirit he is having his quiet time before uh, his father pag di siya nagpe-preach, nagme-minister siya, ganun umikot ang buhay niya. In the in his three years of ministry on earth, three and a half I think, three and a half years ministry on earth, ganun umikot ang buhay niya. Na so focused, hindi siya deviated. So siya ang pattern natin. Kung ang purpose natin, kung ang purpose natin is in in that domain, only one domain, tapusin natin yan strong. Okay? So, a living epistle, a living epistle, pag sinabi a living epistle, the word that become flesh, pag sinabi the word that become flesh, yung salitang nalakaran na naging buhay sa'yo, na kahit di mo, hindi ka magturo ng patience, kitang kita sa'yo na pasensyosa ka. Kahit di ka magturo ng connectivity, kitang kita sa iyo na connected ka accurately to the God of heaven kahit hindi mo i-explain by words ang honor and respect ramdam at kita sa iyo that you know how to honor and respect accurately people above you below you and around you yung yan yung living epistle yung nalalakarang salit nilakarang salita na nabuhay sa iyo kaya naging lifestyle mo na yun yung living epistle. So, uh, I hope klarado ito na number four. Okay? Tama ba? As a, as a child, kailangan ramdam ng tatay, ni nanay, ni mama, ni papa, ni mami, ni daddy na ang tinuturo sa select arrow ay nagiging lifestyle sa inyo. Hindi lang puro information. Pag puro information, may danger doon. Kailangan natatransform tayo, natatransform. Paulit-ulit ko na rin sinasabi na whatever you have in your mind is most of the time cannot help build your inner man. Kasi kung ano lang ang nasa spirito, yun ang nakaka-build, yun ang nagiging uh, na, nag-influence uh, sa spirit. Ang sa mind, kailangan produkto ng galing sa spirito natin. Pero dapat yung nasa ispirito natin is uncontaminated. Kasi pag uncontaminated ang carry ng spirit natin, ang matatransmit sa mind is uncontaminated din. Hindi mixture. Pero kung nag-operate ang mind sa carnality, na-access ang nasa spirit, ay contaminado na. Ang nakukuha, paulit-ulit na tayo nito, pero paulit-ulit ko rin pinapaalala para hindi tayo magpakontamina. So, <clears throat> Number five, the mind of Christ explains who do you represent, who he represents, or who do you represent. The mind of Christ explains those who do you represent. Explains your grace, your call, yung na-develop mo na grace sa iyo. So if we are not operating in the mind of Christ, at some point, we can make a show. If we are not operating in the mind of Christ, at some point, we can brag. At some point, we can, alam mo yun, pabida. Ang mga pabida na tao, empty yun. Kaya hindi tayo, it's not our portion. It's not our portion. So my prayer is that we need to behave as Christ. Ang mga ang mga 
taong alam kung kailan magsasalita at alam kung kailan hindi magsasalita at magsasalita, actually yun yung may mga content. Pero yung mga pabida effect, mga mga attitude ng mga bragging, hindi natin yung portion, okay? Kasi ang may mga content, alam nila may wisdom sila. When we operate in the mind of Christ, we know when and how to speak well of what we carry, of who do we represent. In every opportunity, we need to represent Christ. In every opportunity, we need to represent the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost in our lives. That is the mind of Christ's operation. So, we, in every opportunity, we can explain God to the people, expound God to the people, express God to the people, and exhibit God to the people. So, puro yun e, explain God, expound God, express God, exhibit God. Ano yun? Yung carry natin na God factor. Okay? Explain those who do we represent when we are operating in the mind of Christ. We can express the God factor in us, exhibit or expound because we are an extension. Okay? And an example. Number six, the mind of Christ The mind of Christ is the attitude of going to the next level God's way. The attitude of going to the next level the godly way or God's way, not our own way. Not the carnal way, not the worldly way, not the earthly way, not the selfish way, not the flesh way. Ano pa? Not the easy way. Not the bragging way, maraming paraan. But what? Go to the next level, the godly way, God's way, God's way. The God's way is the safest way, the superior way, the divine way, the heavenly way. That is the most safest way. Because one thing to receive an instruction from the whole Lord to the Holy Spirit and by His Word, but another thing to respond and to execute that word accurately on the ground. Dito medyo karamihan may sabit. Nakarinig kay Lord. Maliwanag na napakinggan, na prophesy pa, na confirm. Pero ang tanong, na execute ba ito accurately? according to God's way or their own way or the AC way or the bragging way or the selfish way. So, yun ang mga katanungan kasi it's one thing that we receive instruction or word from the Holy Spirit by the word or by impression or through dreams or visions but it is another way to accurately execute it on the ground or uh, the way we respond to it. We need to respond accurately as well when we hear the word of God. So ito yung dilemma ng karamihan kasi maraming Kristiyano ang nakatanggap ng word and then they they yes they deliberately intentionally do it execute it but ang tanong is it the right way according to God's way yun ang tanong so pag nakatanggap tayo ng word kay Lord itanong agad natin Lord how am I to how uh, am I supposedly to execute this word of instruction pero ganito siya Pag nakatanggap kayo kay Lord ng word, alam na alam nyo agad, pag si Lord ang nagsalita nun sa inyo, alam na alam nyo agad na siya kasi nandun agad nakafollow ang how. Klarado? Yung wisdom. There is immediately wisdom on how to execute it. 
Alam mo agad ang sunod-sunod. Number one, number two, number three, number four. Kasi na may instruction sa Lord sa'yo. Okay, ito na yung una mo. Pangalawa, pangatlo. Alam mo agad. There is immediately a package. My wisdom. Okay, my word, my wisdom, my insight ka doon. At ano ang dapat mong gagawin hanggang sa matapos ito. Hanggang sa... Kasi na build yun, build yun sa spirit. Na, nasa spirit dimension niya. Na-access lang ng spirit mo. At na-transmit na -transmit sa mind mo. At mayroon ng clarity how to execute it, that's the way how to build it on the ground sa inyong mga skills, sa inyong mga katawagan pero kung nangangapa kayo wait further okay, may word kayo pag in-execute nyo ito, nangangapa kayo is because wala pang wisdom wala pa yung how so, wait further how, Lord, how should I execute this word that I receive from you uh I-practice natin yun at matutulungan. Kasi when God speaks, package yun, clarity nandyan. Nandyan ang insight. Nandyan yung number one, number two, number three, step one, two, three, four. O klarado si Lord mag magsalita. Remember, when He spoke to Noah to build an ark, nangapa ba si Noah? Hindi. Alam agad ang sukat ng ark, the weight, the length, the height, anong klaseng materials. Ang, uh, walang nails nga eh ang nilagay doon at ilang araw niya ito uh, binilled nakita niyo ba si Lord pag mag ganun din kay Moses yung Moses tabernacle nung, nung pinagawa ni Lord si Moses ng tabernacle exactly mayroon ng mayroon ng klaradong in, uh, instruction kaya na implement ito ni Moses ng klarado so pag may pinagawa sa atin si Lord Klarado ito, kaya may instruction sa'yo. Huwag kang bibitaw na walang instruction. Pag walang instruction, walang step 1, 2, 3, 4, eh, tanungin mo kung si Lord nga talaga yung nagsalita o hindi. Baka sarili lang natin. Nami-mix up tayo. Kasi si Lord maliwanag magsalita, may instruction agad how to do it. Pati ang mga sasabihin mo nandoon. Nandoon, kumpleto. Kaya hindi tayo malilito. Okay? Going to the next level God's way. Not the easy way, not the earthly way, not the worldly way, not the bragging way, not the selfish way, not the carnal way, but the righteous way, the superior way, the divine way, the heavenly way. The most safest way. The most safest pathway. Okay? Yan yung uh, Titingnan natin. Ilagay nyo ang nakalimutan ko tong basahin na verse Philippians chapter 2 verse 8. Ilagay nyo lang. Okay. So the way we manage our lives, the way we manage our time, the way we manage our finance, basically the five Fs. Faith, family, finance, fitness and health, and faculty of learning. So the way we manage or we sort out Five Fs in our lives. Kasama dun yung relationship, okay, sa family and friends. Is an expression or an evidence or if we are operating indeed in the mind or through the mind of Christ. Because we can only impart what we carry, what we have. Hindi ito napifake, napifake. Lalo na pagdating ng panahon. Alam nyo ang nag impart by knowledge lang. Walang impact sa spirit nyo. Minsan nagkukuntami na lang. Kasi kung ano ang carry ng taong yan. So alam nyo ang nag impart knowledge lang kasi walang impact sa spirit. Okay? Let's be sensitive in this manner. Number seven, <clears throat> the mind of Christ is not embarrassed or ashamed. The mind of Christ or the attitude of Christ is not embarrassed or ashamed about exaltation and high visibility. The, the mind of Christ is not embarrassed or ashamed about exaltation and high visibility when or if it's coming from above. Because if you know, if you know true humility, you're not afraid of whatever people do to you. Ito ang catch nito. If you know true humility, genuine humility, Christ humility, 
you're not afraid of whatever people do to you. Paano yun? Yung fame, yung applause, yung yeah, ang galing-galing mo talaga. Alam mo yun, i-handle. Hindi ka, <coughs> I'm the man. <laughs> Hindi ka magsasabi ng ganyan. Ha? Alam din kung joke yun o oh, bragging. Alam. Ano ang pinaka-safe? Okay, accept it and return it back to God. Because our God, the God of heaven and nations and generations is the one who is due for all the honors. Accept it honorably and bring it back to God. Pag may nag thank you po sa biyaya po ni Lord and sayo, Lord, sa biyaya mo kaya ako nagkaroon ng ganito, I am bringing back to you all the glory and the honor. So, alam natin, yun ang, yun ang pagpatanggap. So, if we know genuine or true humility, bakit true? Kasi may false humility. May counterfeit humility. Kaya genuine humility, may counterfeit. Kaya, ba, kaya may true dahil may false. Hindi na natin buksan. Maliwanag yun sa salita niya. May false humility. So, doon tayo sa true. Doon tayo sa genuine kasi ang counterfeit is napaka-dangerous. So, uh, because you don't win. When we are trained well, we know how not to take the glory. Because glory is only for God. Okay? The mind of Christ able to handle the glory. Honorably, accurately. The mind of Christ is not afraid of money, of fame, of fortune, because he is being trained well or he is trained by the Father. The mind of Christ is not afraid of money, fame, fortune because he is trained well. So, uh, paano pag mayroon appreciation tayo na natanggap, mayroon ng uh, uh, ano to, compliment, learn to receive it on his behalf. Send it back to him. Okay, klarado ba ito? We must not operate in the Uh, carnal mind but in the mind of Christ. So yun ang ating seven criteria ng mind of Christ. Dito muna, enough na muna ito ngayon para malakaran natin ito ngayong linggo ang ating salita. Ano yan? It's an attitude of humility. Knows how to regard people above, below, and around. Yung valuing people or honoring people. Okay. The mind of Christ knows its place, purpose, and assignment. The focus is there. And sure, the, sure, the surety of where he will go and when he will go. Next is knows boundary of what he possess in God, the God dimension, and the human part. Alam niya ang jurisdiction niya, alam ang protocol, alam ang boundary. So don't tayo mag-operate. The mind of Christ is a pattern of life that you model before people, that we model before people. We become a, a living epistle or the living word of the Lord. And kasi naging nalakaran natin ang mga salita, naging Uh, ang message, the word that become flesh kasi nakita na sa atin, nararamdaman sa atin ang salita ng Diyos. Uh, the mind of Christ explains those who do, he do represent, uh, yeah, explains those who he represents Kaya, kasi tayo ang representation of his character. We know how to explain, expound, express, and exhibit what we carry, which is God. Himself. Number six, going to the next level, the godly way, God's way, God's way, not our own way. Okay. Number eight, uh, number yeah, number seven, not, not embarrassed or ashamed about exaltation. Not afraid of money, not afraid of fame or fortune, because He knows 
how to uh, he knows how to receive it and on God's behalf and he is he knows how to send it back to the Lord to God clear may tanong ba Kung may mayroon ng tanong bago tayo magpatuloy, may tanong ba? Wala, walang tanong. So, ang actually ang ang uh, ituturo kung susunod ay yung carnal mind pero ang oras ay 1:30 at uh, 2:30 na, baka alanganin tayo. Walang tanong, maliwanag ang Mind of Christ. Okay. So, malalakara natin ngayon linggo. Ang una-una doon yung humility. So, i-master na muna natin ang humility. Saka, and then, bring it to the next level that we can uh, be an expansion of God's life. And then, honoring. Yung alam natin mag-honor. Alam natin maglakad sa ating boundary. So, Enjoy the freedom within boundaries. There is no such thing as freedom. Freedom within boundary, yes. Okay? So don't cross any boundary. Don't violate any protocol. Because when we are a violator of protocol, I don't think we can be a citizen of God's kingdom if we are not observant of protocol. Pag, ang, pag naging casual tayo o familiar, yung mga protocol na siniset sa church or sa anumang establishment, pag madalas mo yung binabiolate kasi may entitlement mentality, yung, eh bak, yung negotiate ng negotiate ng negotiate, eh pwede yan, pwede yan, kasi ganito, ayun ganyan, pwede, pwede yan natin. Ah, you are so familiar with the protocol and uh, you are always crossing boundary. It, nagsisend ka ng signal sa langit na hindi ka, ma, hindi ka magiging citizen of God's kingdom. Disqualify ka na. So we need, we need to stay within boundaries. So please do not disqualify yourself just by violating certain protocols in, in the kingdom of God. I hope I am clear with this. Okay? Kaya sa family natin, Take note, mga select arrow. <laughs> I hope I am not imposing to you. I'm just so passionate that you are going to straightway uh, uh, go uh, with in acceleration to your future. I hope I am not imposing to you. Pero ito ay I strongly suggest na sa family natin, kapag mayroon pa kayo ng, ng kamag-anak or yeah, sa family na sanay na sanay mag-cross ng boundary, sanay na sanay mag-disobey ng protocol o uh, protocol sa family, uh, nagkasi-familiar, kausapin nyo honorable kung yan may people above o people below, people uh, around, kausapin nyo honorable na hindi na yun pwede ngayon because the kingdom of God is about to manifest. Hindi niya dapat i-disqualify kasi pag mayroon yan tayo sa family ng madalas mag-disobey mag, o mag-violate uh, ng protocol at saka uh, mga boundaries, pag mayroon sa family, nadadrag kayo na mga gustong sumunod. Nadad na nadadala kayo kasi frequency yan eh. Remember, the currency in the dimension of the spirit is frequency. So kung ito ay hindi na, hindi na lalakaran sa tahanan, yung boundary, yung protocol, eh paano tayo maging expansion ng kingdom kung sa bahay pa lang ay hindi? Paano tayo magiging solution giver sa domain? Eh ang family is a domain. Nadyan tayo muna tinawag para yan ang ating training ground. Kung dyan ay para violate tayo ng protocol sa family, kung dyan ay crossing boundaries agad at walang kinikilalang protocol, walang kinikilalang boundaries, ay how could we become a citizen of God's kingdom na doon sa kingdom, uh, we should behave well, regal, royal, ang kingdom people is royal, regal. So observe the way we behave, observe the way the royals behave. Kahit dito sa Saudi, they are trained. They are trained how to speak well, when to speak well, the way they behave, the way they uh, do their, alam mo yun yun, dress code. 
they are tra they are trained well and yet they are just on earth they are royal on earth how, how about the kingdom of the lord kung ito nag-observe ng mga protocols how much more the kingdom of god so do not underestimate the protocol that is being set in the kingdom of god ano yon yung mga alam na natin yung mga uh, rebuild protocol na sa atin yung mga rebuild protocol na sa atin yung honor and respect yung a courtesy yung mga connectivity yun yung bang mga simpleng bagay na mga rules of engagement pero halimbawa sa bahay ng may bahay hindi ka maging uh, kasi mahirap mahirap na pag nag-obey so sa bawat bahay naniniwala ko na may certain culture tayo may kultura tayo bawat tahanan so at may protocol bawat tahanan kung yung protocol na yun ay laging nababiolate kausapin na yung mga violator para magi hindi maging disqualified tayo. Okay? Kayo din, tayo din, kailangan maging example tayo ng mga bagay-bagay na in such a way, makita pa lang nila tayo, expression na tayo ng kaharian. Kalakasan ka na agad. Hindi ka nakaka-drag ng, ng kalakasan ng iba kasi nag-violate ka. May binayulate ka na certain protocol, certain boundaries. Obvious yan ngayon. Clear? Okay. Salamat because I re could really sense that your capacity is already expanded. Your, indeed, I could sense it in my spirit that your capacity of receiving the word is now in the next level. Ang, ang spirit capacity nyo ay talagang nag-expand to the highest level kaya I need to rise up higher. Alam nyo ba na because you rise up higher, you rise up in the spirit dimension the way you need to rise up, alam nyo ba na I have no choice but to rise up more higher kasi paano ako mag-minister sa inyo by the grace of God kung hindi ako mag-rise up? Kung hindi ako talagang mag-pace sa Holy Spirit. So lahat tayo, we need to pace in the Spirit para ang final outpouring hindi natin ma-miss out. Lahat ba tayo nagre-ready sa final outpouring? Yung balikan nyo yung last natin na recorded o yung session natin last Saturday, yun yung preparation ng final outpouring. Any, I think and I believe any day in this week kasi mayroon na lang tayo ng three weeks because of this Cairo season. Kaya na kailangan nakaset tayo, nakakasa, naka-engage tayo for this final outpouring kasi hindi tayo babalikan ng Holy Spirit. Hindi tayo babalikan. Tayo ang kailangan mag-posture ng tama para itong Cairo season na hindi natin ma-miss out ang gagawin ng banal na spirito. Kasi ang pinuno, pagpuno tayo ng Holy Spirit, pag, uh, pag di natin ito na-miss out, na naging candidate at participant tayo ng final outpouring, that is, I tell you, the church is in acceleration. Na hindi, you, we will all be in awe. Opo. So, lakara natin yung mind of Christ. I think, hindi ko na to umpisahan na the, the, carnal, the carnal mind. Kasi mahaba ito. Meron ba dito? Ang ilnalista ko ay 10. 10 or 12. Mahaba ito. Ito yung next na lalakara natin. Para alam natin. Kaya ko ito inuna na the mind of Christ para alam mo agad na ito nag-ooperate ka by the grace of God sa mind of Christ. Itong carnal uh, mind naman na criteria, alam natin na ops, carnality yun, ops, flesh yun, ops, selfishness yun. Mal malalaman natin. Klarado? <coughs> uh, so, announcement bago tayo magtapos, uh, may 2.30 na. 2.38 na yata ang time. Ang plano natin na mag-outing, select arrow, nagpaalam ako kay Pastor Jerry, nag-discuss kami. Yung select arrow, Jubail, ha? <laughs> sa Pilipinas, pag umuwi na tayo sa Pilipinas. I hope, how, hindi ko alam paano tayo magkita-kita doon. <laughs> uh, thumbs up si Ate Lai. Uh, naniniwala ako na 
pag nagbalik na siguro sa, uh, sa normal na kung pwede na mag face to face how i desire na yung buong DGH tribe na select araw magkita-kita in one in one event uh, isn't it great pero siyempre hintayin natin yung galaw at kilos ng Lord yun doon tayo magpapasakop at magpapasailalim So itong outing natin ngayon na gagawin sa Select Arrow Jubail na napospon ng napospon before lockdown pa ito. Napospon ng napospon. Sabi ni Pastor Jerry, pag okay na daw yung panahon yung weather, yung hindi na masyadong mabanas, yung hindi na masyadong mainit. Para kahit na kung sa labas man tayo makadeside na mag-outing, hindi masyadong mainit para sa inyo. At hindi tayo magmamadali kasi sobra ng init hindi tayo magmamadaling umuwi. Uh, tama po ba? At mag-submit tayo doon sa sinabi ni Pastor Jerry. So, kaya in-announce in ko. Kasi supposedly ngayon yun, kaya di pa ako nag, hindi ako maka-announce kasi uh, yun ang sinabi sa akin ni Pastor Jerry. So, we need to submit to it at ang um, ipaplano na lang natin ulit doon sa group kung kailan mag mag may message ako doon or pastor Jeric mga four days before ng outing para makaprepare tayo okay klarado <laughs> so ngayon um, iniksian ko lang yung discussion para alam natin yung seven na yon alam natin lakaran na aware tayo may consciousness tayo na ups ito it hindi ito mind of Christ. Ups, ito, doon muna sa seven na yon para mabilis natin ma-build sa life natin by His grace. At ako naman ay naniniwala na super liwanag na yon. So ngayon, ako ay mag ng magsasalita. Ano ba ang sinasabi ng Diyos sa iyo ngayon? Sa mapanahon ngayon. In uh, five minutes, Five minutes talk, ano ba ang sinasabi ni Lord sa iyo ngayon na maka, sa, tang, sa tingin mo makaka-infuse ng life and strength? Remember, our fellowship is for advancement. Our fellowship is for strength. Our fellowship is for infusing life. Our fellowship is for sharpening. So, yun ang ating criteria. So anong mga binigay ni Lord sa iyo ngayon na pinalalakaran sa iyo or natanggap mo sa Panginoon na sa tingin mo ay makaka-infuse ng strength sa Select Arrow. Okay, go go go. Five minutes. Mami Maiksi lang yung akin, hindi man makabuo ng five minutes. No problem. No problem. Ano, ano po, hindi pa siya testimony kasi ngayon ko lang siya na-receive. Yes. Pero pwede yung uh, na-impress lang sa akin na i-share. Kasi yes. marami rin sa atin na, you know, we are making decisions because we are a little bit older na. So, some of us are making decisions, especially the uh, people on the Philippines. Uh, mm -hmm. Pero yung number... Asan ba yun? Number, number six. Uh, it's uh, about how we respond to the Word of God. Yes. Um, Na-receive ko lang na uh, how do you, like how do you know if that is the way or if that is really God speaking to you. So, ang na-receive ko lang doon is uh, uh, that uh, the, kasi If we read in John 1 verse 1, sinabi doon na uh, in the beginning was the Word and the yes. Word was with God and the Word was God. So, if there is a Word that is put in you, that is impressed to you or given to you, um, what I received po is uh, that Word is one with God in a way. Kasi yes. He is His Word. So, what is the virtues of God? The virtues of God, uh, yung binigayan sa fruit of the Holy Spirit. Uh, so, there is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness. Parang yun yung guidance natin if uh, in the word. Like, if there is a word given to you, it is it following in the criteria of what God is? And one of them is peace. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that will be what I will be implementing po. 
uh, in how we make our decisions. Because if we, if it is truly spoken to you, and if you are truly doing it, uh, gonna do it that way, there will always be peace because uh, God will not let you do something that He told you to do. Then you are troubled or disturbing exactly. your heart exactly. when you're doing it. So yeah, yun lang yun ko, na He is one in His word, and His He has characteristics. So yung word na dapat na in line dun sa characteristics na yun, and it should be like uh, yeah that way siya. It will not violate his characteristics that has already been said. So yeah, you know. Yes, amen to that. Amen. Nandoon ang righteousness, peacefulness and joyfulness in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Okay? Who is next? Okay, okay, see si Joseph. <laughs> yeah, so I got this when I was doing the PowerPoint for the, if you notice, I think M would know that yung last mentoring, ako yung gumawa ng PowerPoint because Mami Glenn's challenge me na if you were to teach them, what would you implement in your PowerPoint and how will you put it into words? of how you will teach them yeah. to lower the level of the word to make to still have the foundations of it but to make it understandable to a specific level so parang na challenge ako and i was like oh how am i going to do that cuz think about it that our understanding is like really high compared to theirs so i can't say that the holy spirit is like doing everything you know that you have to like completely change things na. It actually makes you think na, oh na pala no, not everyone knows this. So it's actually harder na. You really have to use the Holy Spirit wisdom in how to get the foundations of that word and how to implement it to the people who still do not know God. And uh, parang naging practice din sa akin if I was to share the word with someone who I do not know and he does not know anything about Christ. If I was to share Christ to him, I cannot say that Christ is one of the Trinity, part of the God, part of the Holy Spirit, and they are working together to completely change this world. No, they won't understand that. So like they have to like slowly be Joseph Lapit Lapit ka. Hindi pala po naririnig. So what until which part po hindi po narinig? Opportunity. <laughs> okay, so like the thing is, it's like we can't really explain what we all know about right now. Because if you try explaining this lesson right now to someone that's out there who has no understanding, they'll think that <laughs> two options. They'll think that you're crazy, or you just have uh, they have you have new information that they don't know yet, but. I guess that most people will think that we're crazy because they don't know um, that we don't they don't have the same understanding as us and they don't have the same uh, we're, they're, we're not of the same culture then but the point is is that God will teach us how to uh, break down the word and to make it as liquid food for them yeah it will give us wisdom on how to do that. And we really need to practice now because if we are going to influence the generation around us, baka itakot na lang natin kapag gawin na natin na yun, no? Uh, we, need, <laughs> we, need, we need the wisdom and knowledge of God for us to do that. And parang na-practice talaga sa akin. And one more thing is that during that PowerPoint, meron dun na like how, how to outwork your weaknesses and your strength. Uh, I've received one thing na you have to watch out for both your weaknesses and your strength. You may think na, I think I only need to manage my weakness. But kasi sometimes your strength can become your pride and something that's uh, very dangerous as well. This, your strength can be, cons uh, like, if not controlled, it can also become your weakness. And your weakness, if controlled, can also become your strength. So what you really have to do is to really uh depend on christ right now 
and uh, yeah, partner with God that He may fix your weaknesses and make it as your strength. Because if you do not partner with God, even your strength, like let's say I know how to play guitar or badminton, it can become my pride that God will literally sh- showed me that like you're not the best, but you carry something that's in you that's different from them that you have to have and but that's not the only thing you should also have a humble heart now you should know that there's always room for improvement that i'm not the best and yeah. this is because that god has made me this way yeah uh, if you also have weaknesses don't think that wow i'm so incompetent i can't do this and everyone else does it so making a difference right <laughs> But then the point is, is that you really just have to like surrender it all to God that you don't have to be the same as people around you. So, yeah. Yeah. And my Bruda. Okay. Uh, uh, Josh, okay lang, saglit lang. Para bigyan ko sila ng background kasi yung pinagagawa ko si Joseph ng PowerPoint doon sa uh, my other group of mentoring, yung mga university students. And Margaret is... Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, she joined there doon sa group of students na yon. Pero uh, generic ito kasi hindi pa naman nila alam yung mga alam yung when it comes to spiritual things. Kaya I'm making it so generic. Kaya pag nandun si Margaret parang, di ba Margaret, ibang iba yung tinuturo ko doon. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi there are students, so nag-introduce pa lang ako sa kanila ng, but it's life, it's indeed life na ma, ma-educate lang sila, ma, mabigyan sila ng knowledge na they are not, hindi sila bobo, matalino sila, they have something for uh, the system na kailangan ng system, pero kailangan lang nila muna lumabas sa sistema para ma-equip, yung mga ganon. Uh, na si Joseph ang pinagagawa ko sa, from time to time ng PowerPoint doon kasi para hindi ako nakababad sa computer kasi kung makababad ako uh, paano pa ako yung Sunday ko at saka the following day so kaya siya ang china challenge ko ang nilalagay ko lang sa kanyang criteria imagine that you are the one that is going to teach these people kaya gumawa ka ng PowerPoint. So, ganun ang uh, gagawin natin. Look for your future that you are a trainer already. You are a builder already by the word and by the spirit. So, yun ang isa pang lalakaran natin mga select arrow. Uh, see your future there. Na you are not just a student or a teacher but a builder in the spirit in such a way that God is going to use uh, you uh, every yeah, you to build the generation next to you or your with your or your generation so doon ka na nakatingin kaya yan yun ang sinasabi ni Joseph na ginagawa niya ng powerpoint kaya alam ni Ms yung mga powerpoint doon ang iba noon ay uh, si Joseph I am challenging him na what if you are the one who is going to teach them what lesson are you going to prepare so ako ang nag-execute siya ang gumagawa ng powerpoint para ma- ma- masukat ko rin kung ano ang dimension ng content niya at ganun din tayo mga select arrow uh, what is that na mag uh, think way ahead think for your future Kasi you, you have content already. So write down all your content. Maggawa na kayo pag mayroon ka natanggap na, na content kay Lord Revelation, make it a lesson. Il, il, ilagay mo yan sa notebook mo, di ba? Alam nyo na yung mga notebook ko, iba-iba. Because I, when I have a revelation, ilalagay ko yan sa notebook ko as a form of lesson na any day, any time, pag, may, pag kailangan ko magturo, i-wait ko lang kay Lord ano ang ituturo ko pero meron ka ng material. Click, check. So, yun ang gagawin. Okay, Joshua? Okay po. Lumapit po ako para marinig ako. Apo. Um, ang isi-share ko lang po is what helped me throughout this Cairo season. Um, yung nag-benefit talaga mostly especially in my spiritual life. And one of the things that really benefited me is, of course, when it comes to relationship with God, ang nakapatulong talaga sa akin is building in the spirit. Mm-hmm. Kasi we are so 
anxious or unsure about what will come ahead unto our future. Pero ang natutunan ko as we have this select hour session is God knows our future. So why don't we come unto Him to show us what our future is? So yeah. ang pinersu ko talaga this Kyrie season is to really come unto God and to follow Him no matter what. Kasi through God, we will know who we are and what our future is. Yeah. So sa atin kasi we've been called and prophesied that we will not just hindi tayo a we're not a religious institution anymore but we're influencers or impact impactful leaders to influence every domain every gen, inspiring every generation and to impact other nations so i really um lay hold onto that word and as i walk with god as tin nili ako ng holy spirit to build and prophesy na pinakita sa akin thoughts spontaneous thoughts na bigla na lang na pumasok sa akin na this is who I am and oh it works so that is yung pala ang vision na that's who I am in the future so yun ang binibuild sa akin ni Lord and it gives an inspiration or motivation in me na that's who I will become so that's what I am prophesying na God called me to become an artist God called me to become a leader uh, not just a teacher but a builder na not hindi lang yung teacher na nag say ng information but buhay yung words uh, in one's life to become a real proof yeah. and a real um a real example for the generations na hindi ako magpeke-peke but mag ano talaga genuinely so yun yung pina prophesy sa akin and more to go that I I shouldn't reveal so yung it's that's what help me through of knowing who I am is by continuously following God and building my future here and now by declaring it, prophesying it, and all the things na kailangan ko malaman from God, it will re be revealed unto me. Kasi lahat, it's a package deal when we come unto God. Lahat, education, everything about you, uh, among, along with them, of course, there is a process. For example, for me, in every one of us, in our personality, we have our weaknesses, we have our strengths. So, like my weaknesses, in adjust ako ni Lord, dinila ko nito na ay pride palayan. So, yung hindi magyabang yabang katulad in my experience, whenever people um, admired my drawings back then when I was a teenager or kid, uh, syempre, I have this thing in me na hindi ko naman pinapakita, but it grows yung pride. So do na ko inadjust ni Lord na even in your heart, don't set it up in your in your heart na you're uh -huh. proud. So uh -huh. you become humble. And yes, yes, thank you for the appreciation, but it's, I am, I am who I am because God gave me this gift. Uh -huh. So dun ko talaga, tinuruan ako ni Lord na how to be humble ngayong na lesson na the mind of Christ is yun talaga if what Christ is the example na how we need to be to become an influential leader. Now nah, you just you, you're not self-centered but you care about others. You're there to help others. You're like you're Christ to build others up so that you help them when at times at when they're struggling. So yun yung tinulungan ako ni Lord and talagang God will push you to the domain to where you will be. Katulad sa akin may weaknesses ako na nahihiya ako. So instead of that I build na hindi ako na mahihiya. Na katulad na when knowing myself, uh, show, making known to myself to others, dun ako na hiya masyado, especially sa social media. So, I build that na hindi na ako mahihiya. So, in a way na as I consistently proceed with God, results come. So, dun talaga ako ni Lord na inutusan ako ni Lord na mag-open na ako ng Instagram account. So, sabi ko, Lord, baka hindi ko pa kaya. Sabi ni Lord, go. Do it. So, ngayon, uh, I keep myself focused on to God na I know the purpose. I'm not there for the followers, but in a way where I share my work unto others. So, that's where I make my artwork. Ngayon, na by God's grace, I am able to do, inst um, I can consistently post now. Yeah, uh, the, the making of a habit to consistently post. So I learned that God is after there for our future and He will help us rise up in our weaknesses, especially into our 
weaknesses in our personality or whether what it is we just need to come unto god and build it in the spirit to correct that mm -hmm. so and god will really test you try you in situations yeah though my busy work uh, school work um dapat, dapat, um you just yield everything unto god and i Lalo na ako, I'm very stressed when I have loads of work around me. But I make sure na I stay relaxed all the time. Na Lord, yes. so I am Lord. And God wants us to be honest. Na halimbawa, pag nag nahirapan ka, di sasabihin mo kay Lord na Lord, ano pong gagawin ko talaga? And God will show you the way. Sasabihin lang sa'yo ni Lord na mag-relax ka. And then focus. Pag Sometimes, because when I'm too relaxed, I get deviated. So, sasabihin sa kanila Lord na focus dito, because this is your 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 quota. So, dun lang ako. And the hearing ear is really important that you immerse yourself with God. Because pag na expose ka na with the things here, lalo na sa mga social media with all the videos, hindi ko sinasabi na masama mag social media. But when you're so immersed, you don't know, you can't hear God as how you were before when you're actually hearing him. So spend balance. There's a balance. So yun yung natutunan ko all of my life. And the baseline is faith, family, friends, finances, fitness and health, and faculty of learning, all those things. We don't have to worry. We just come unto God because God is the very foundation to all for our future. Everything will just line up. So yes, that's it. Pursue the Holy Spirit. So thank you. Yes, amen. So pursue the Holy Spirit. I hope na build tayo mga select araw at nagkaroon tayo ng understanding ano pa ang mga dapat nating i-build. At uh, ang isa pang encouragement ko sa inyo talaga live according to your future now. Now. Building your future here and now is live to live, to think about your future, to live in such a way that you are living already in that future. Yung ngayon na ba? Kasi you, what you are doing right now is a part and parcel of who you will become in the future. Okay? Uh, who is next? At 3 o'clock na daw. Okay. <laughs> Tinimingan ako. <laughs> Baka may gusto pa lang. Isa na lang. Isa. Pero kung wala sa susunod para nakahanda kayo, ang, ang panong is ano ang ginagawa ng Panginoon sa inyo sa buhay nyo ngayon na could be a part and parcel also of the other select arrow na makapagbigay ng life at makastrength. Makakontribute ba sa binibuild ng Lord sa atin as corporate? Uh, yeah, fitly joined together. Kasi binibuild tayo ni Lord. Magpa-accelerate tayo kay Lord, okay? So, may isa pa? Wala na? Mami? Apo, okay. Margaret. Um, uh, one word po na narinig ko po sa PFC video po ni Mama La is that only an unbeliever worries or only an unbeliever stresses. Dadagdag ko na lang po yung sinasabi ni Kuya Joshua na nasa stress po ako pag marami daw po siyang inago. And I have experienced that a lot of time. Me and Jaya would have experienced that a lot of time. Sabay pa kami, ganon. And honestly, I've after komag stress or when that stress moment is done, parang may magsasabi sa akin ng pat kana stress. Correct. But alam pa nags stressan mo. Nagawa mo naman pala. Tapos and then when Mama las when Pastor Rina Joy said that an only an unbeliever worries. I, it immediately hit me hard. Because, <laughs> like, ayoko po. I thought that I was already parang believe na believe na talaga ako ganon kay Lord. But when Mama said that, then I immediately parang na hit po yung heart ko na masakit. <laughs> <laughs> so parang I stressed over nothing. Because naman, you know, God. He has secured everything upon for you, and all you have to do is do your part. So that's one thing that God is parang inaayos sa akin. So I don't have to worry or stress anymore about anything else. Kasi alam ko na po na my future is glorious. My future yes. is in God's hands. Our future is glorious. All of us. Magkakasama tayo dyan. Correct. And 
wala na po tayong kailangan i-worry. And one thing also is that God does not look at our mistakes. God does not look at our disobedience. But the only thing that God looks at is our explicit obedience upon yes. Him and our complete trust upon Him. And that is in one PFC video. And that is one thing that I'm really parang binibuild sa sarili ko. Kasi I always keep on looking on the past na sinasabi ko na, but ginawa ko to? I could have done better. Because if you make a wrong decision right now, ang magsasuffer your future. Exactly. Ikaw yung, magsas- ikaw yung magsasuffer sa future. And I have a lot of experience with that. And so it's set up on me na I need to make a proper decision so that in the future, I'm ready, I'm set, I'm okay yung I can progress higher and higher and accelerate even faster. Uh, yesterday po, me and Sam were in Kempensky and I really parang thank God na for her life kasi po. And for the select hours life, I thank God for everyone's life because Totoo po yung sinasabi ni Mami na fellowship is really important within all of us. Because what's between all of us is so important because di ba yung fellowship po natin sa ibang mga kagrupo natin na hindi po sa Select Arrow, there is nothing to be built on within them. But uh-huh. yesterday po, I saw how so many things were built upon me and at the Sam's life while we were talking. Kasi I felt like it's really a time to accelerate kasi malapit na matapos ang October. I had not realized it's October 10. I am still processing June. Yung parang na-stuck pa rin po ako sa June. I have to, I have to, oh, I have to accelerate. Nakakaano po. Parang it's, it's still not enough. And that's, the, and that thing na sinasabi na it's still not enough. So accelerate even more. Yes, totoo. Kasi malapit na po ang final outpouring. And yung sinasabi po ni Mama La na if we miss this, then we'd have to wait another cycle. Ayoko na maghintay na another cycle. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't, and especially, di ba, my avalanche of deception. Yes! So, so, so. My avalanche of deception na, it's already, sinabi na po sa atin na there's an avalanche of deception coming, but di ka pa nagpe-prepare. Correct, correct. Sino, ikaw yung mahihirapan sa future if you're not prepared. Okay. And I'm really preparing in everything. I'm really like praying na, to God na God, kung ano man po ang kailangan kong itama, kung, kung ano man po ang kailangan ko i-diretsyo, i-diretsyo ko po, basta po ipakita niyo po sa akin, God, intensify your challenge upon me, intensify the word, and I promise you, God, I will really try my hardest to accelerate, so. Yes. Boom. Hallelujah. <laughs> and honestly, <laughs> and honestly, one more thing na ano po, um, between a select arrows, kapag Kapag po meron, like, may ginagawang mali ang isang select arrow, I've always been hesitant to parang speak upon them. Not unless I have the permission to. Katulad po yung speaking of graces, of course, we all had the permission to. Pero right now, it was parang na-interest sa heart ko na, this is your friend in destiny. Kasama mo yan sa future mo. Right. You will always be like, yung, they're the people who will build you. So, why not build them as well? So, pag may, so, Select Aris, if there is something that I'm doing wrong, I would like you to please tell me immediately. Be honest with me because you know, kapag ako naging honest, I will be brutally honest with you guys. <laughs> so I also want you to do the same to me. Be brutally honest with me and do the same thing for me because it will be a blessing. And it, no, no, no. How, how much, kahit kaano mang nakakasakit, masakit okay. kasi totoo. 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 Hmm. So, it's better na it's better na ano po, masaktan po ako, pero I learned something. It's always like that. Nasasaktan ka dahil may natututunan ka. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Pero, what would you prefer? Hindi ka masaktan, pero wala kang natutunan. Masaktan ka, pero may matutunan ka. So, of course, I would prefer na masaktan ako, pero may matutunan po ako. And because, at, as I said, this is a time of acceleration. Mm-hmm. Hindi na natin, and God and ask God always in your prayers to always sanctify you. Because, di ba Mama La is saying that we need to be validated yes. as Christ and yes. God's sons, true sons and daughters. Yes. And that really, really hit me hard. 
<laughs> I need to be validated. We need to be validated. And right now, that's parang, of course, if you want to be validated, you have to go through the sanctification process. So clean yourself, purify yourself through God's words, equip yourself with God's words, the nine things of the car season. Yes. Oh my God. Ang hirap po ng number six, be healthy, I swear. Mahirap po. <laughs> Kasi po, just yesterday, I ate so much. I ate so much unhealthy things. And then after that day, it, after that day before I slept, sabi ko, oh my God, you ate so many unhealthy things. Anyare. But anyways, yeah, work in progress. Yeah, <laughs> work in progress. At least my, ano na, my consciousness na. And, oh, malaking bag, and, malaking factor yun. And one more thing, but one last thing po talaga. Oh. Um, we need to be familiar po to God's voice and to your conscious voice. Kasi you, at, uh, uh, one struggle that I had is I kept mixing up voices in my head. Yung isa, a voice of excuses. Yung isa, a voice of procrast- procrastination. Yung isa, a voice of consciousness. Yung isa, the voice of God, the ho- voice of the Holy Spirit. And I kept mixing them up because it all sounded so pure. And yung sinasabi ko po na, the devil will sugarcoat everything. Yeah. So those ex- excuses sound so, it, parang it sounded so okay. Parang okay, it's okay. Or it's not. <laughs> so <laughs> we need to be familiar and we need to be sure I'm very sure naman na you can always differentiate God's voice between the rest of the voices because, you know, God's voice is stern. It's one thing. It's straight to the point. So, you know. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Accelerate. Amen. Accelerate. So, and consistency po. Correct. Correct. The truth will set us free talaga. The truth will set us. Only the truth can set us free and can, uh, can form us and and uh, to be accelerated. So, ang iba, mag-prepare po sa susunod. Uh, bago tayo mag-lesson, I'm going to allow you to speak, mga, uh, the, the rest of you, <clears throat> para nabibuild. Isn't it wonderful when we hear something that what God is doing upon their lives at ma- tayo natututo din na build yung sharpen iron sharpens irons and yung building each other to become fitly joined together doon nag-uumpisa ang building kaya ang fellowship is for uh, expansion and advancement and for strength and for sharpening for building so yung an hindi natin makakalimutan uh, so mag-announce na lang tayo ulit kung kailan tayo sabihan ni Pastor Jerry na i natin yung fellowship natin. Select Arrow Jubail at sa Pilipinas, looking forward for that. And I desire na GH Tribe, Select Arrows. At uh, ang practical, maliban dun sa tinuro natin ngayon, yung last na nine things to be prepared during this Cairo season, lakara natin yon at naidagdag natin itong Mind of Christ. At ang Sinasabi ko pong praying in the Holy Spirit at least ngayon 15 minutes per day. Okay? 15 minutes. Progress it. Pag nag-pray in the Spirit tayo, yung naka-align lahat, mind, will, and emotions in your body to the to your spirit and your spirit to the Holy Spirit. Kasi yun yung may nabibuild. Yun yung mayroon ng impartation, yun yung may downloading. Yun yung nag-operate ka sa spiritual technology that the Holy Spirit is downloading things into your spirit and your mind is uh, accessing it and therefore you are speaking it and prophesying it. So yun ang pag-accelerate ng spirit dimension natin, inner man. Okay? So gawin natin yun. Ha? Hello, Aldrich. Nakita ko si Aldrich. <laughs> So let's all uh, select arrow na the youngest select arrow. So we'll uh, we'll pray sa mga taga Pilipinas. Oh, oh. Aldrich, the youngest select arrow. So let's all pray now. We thank you, Lord God, for your presence and with your uh, grace, Lord, that could 
that uh, will continually abound to our life. We are appreciating the way you work, Lord God, in us and through us. We honor you, Lord God, in the life of every one of us, Lord. We pray, Lord, that the, the acceleration that we are feeling in the atmosphere, the acceleration, oh Lord, of God consciousness, of building in the spirit, building our inner man, the acceleration of becoming conscious to become healthy, to build our immune system accurately, the acceleration, oh Lord God, of our... Uh, protocol or obeying or uh, submitting to the protocol of the kingdom, especially, oh Lord, the baseline of the five Fs, that it, the culture of the Golden Harvest Tribe. We believe, Lord, God, that the, we are all going to be accelerated in this uh, season of Kairos, oh Lord God. We thank you that everyone, oh Lord God, in the Select Arrow will be a participants of this final outpouring, that no one will miss this out in the name of Jesus. This must be our portion, oh Lord God. And Lord, we pray that we are go we are all in good posture. We are all in poise, oh Lord God, to be accelerated all the more, to become a participant of this final outpouring, oh Lord God, that no one should be a casualty, Lord Lord, in the name of Jesus, that we need to posture ourselves, Lord God, in the spirit to the position where God called us to position ourselves in Jesus' name. And we are going to operate in the dynamic of the spirit, operating in the spirit, that we are going to set our mind, the Lord, that we are a citizen of heaven. We are an expression of God's kingdom on the earth. We are an expansion of God's kingdom on the earth. We are an example and a benchmark, oh Lord God, on the earth about what is the kingdom and uh, what is the life in of the in the kingdom oh lord lord we pray that our mind is going to be set on things above on kingdom on, on kingdom things oh lord god on kingdom culture kingdom lifestyle and kingdom protocols oh lord god oh lord thank you so much lord god that you are setting our hearts on things above and you are setting our mind on things above oh lord god no longer of earthly things no longer of the worldly things in Jesus name Lord ang mga panlasa po namin sa mga material na bagay sa mga worldly things sa mga earthly things ay Lord i, I divert nyo po Lord God na ang maging panlasa namin o ang ating operational dynamic is only oh Lord God on the spirit te things oh Lord heavenly materials oh Lord God we thank you so much Lord God that today as we are submitting ourselves unto you we thank you for this, the the uh, power to prevail and the grace to govern, oh Lord God, that is going to be accelerated in our spirit. The governmental anointing and the governmental grace must be the portion of the select arrow as we move and interface with the Holy Spirit, oh Lord God, right now by the word in the name of Jesus that we can stand, oh Lord God, against the onslaught of the enemy, uh, Lord, towards us and towards our family in Jesus' name that we should learn how to build in the spirit accurately how we should know how to build, O oh Lord God, the domain where, which you have orchestrated us to position ourselves right now in the spirit, in the name of Jesus. And we will be as builder in the spirit. We'll learn how to see the future, O oh Lord God, by our seeing eye. And the earring here shall be accelerated all the more, Lord God, to become more sensitive to your voice, to become more sensitive to your prompting, to your <coughs> conviction, O oh Lord God, and to the leading, O oh Lord, of the whole. Holy Spirit, oh Holy Spirit, dear Holy Spirit, lead us and govern our lives, Lord God, by the word, and we uh, we all uh, sensitive become sensitive to the word and to uh, to the leading of the Holy Spirit that we could so become we could become so familiar with the voice of the Holy Spirit into our inner man, oh Lord God, that uh, that uh, as we feel, oh Lord God, the weather so parang ganun na rin kami makinig sa boses mo na ma-identify po agad namin, Panginoon, ang yung tinig, ang yung boses, O oh Lord God, that we couldn't mix it, O oh Lord God, by the other voices, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. This must be our portion, O oh God. No more destabilization, O oh Lord God, that is about to come in every lives of the select arrow, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord God, everything that is in our mind that is not, O oh Lord, a contributor for us to be accelerated, we have to accelerate it, we put it down and we destroy it in the name of Jesus. No more of the 
things of the mindset of this world in Jesus' name, the pattern of this world in the name of Jesus. But we are declaring for it that we are going to operate in the mind of Christ, in the in the humility, O oh Lord God, in honor and respect, O oh Lord God, and learning how to receive and accept, O oh Lord God, the compliment, but bringing back unto you all the glory and honor, acknowledging that it is all by grace that we are who we are right now by your grace in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God, for building us up, Lord God. We give you all the praises, the glory, O oh Lord God, and we thank you so much for preparing us, O oh Lord, well. And as we pace with you, Lord God, our frequency will never be tuned in to the other frequency, to the wrong frequency, but we are going to learn how to always be in tune or attuned to the frequency of heaven and what is divine in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless us all. And bye-bye. See you on Saturday. Okay? And another further announcement na lang i-announce sa, sa group. At mag-prepare ang magsasalita sa susunod. Are we infused by strength now? So another level to build up. Right? Another level to build up. Kung sino ang may nakatake note, uh, na-appreciate ko yung naglalagay, kayo na naglalagay sa group, usually si Andre at si Kayla. So kung sino ang mga nakatake note, ilagay doon sa group para mas, mas makita din ng iba. Okay, ang mga na-take note. I appreciate you for being present and uh, for taking the time kasi para ma-accelerate tayo all the more. So think of your future, okay? An influencer a builder in the spirit, a builder of every domain, every generation that would impact nation. Amen? God bless us all. Bye-bye.